All right, good morning. We're gonna do a really complicated move today as part of this resilience challenge. I think we're in the last week of this challenge, getting to 30 days of focusing on building resilience. And let me just show you the move really quick, okay? Because it's a complicated one. We're gonna, it's, I call it the pretzel, all right? And we come down, it's a, it's a very difficult move, all right? And uh, I really like it. It focuses on your core. And it's not something like, I can't, let me see if I can, I can't do that without holding on to XC, <laughs> okay? Some people can, you know, come down, and I get you know you could do it on the ground, okay? But um, it's a difficult move. So let's get into this really quick. All right, so the whole, let me put my contact information up here. The whole idea of the resilience challenge, I actually found myself, this is COVID, right? It's been going on for months and, you know, it's going to be going on for longer, but resilience in general is just something that we should all focus on all the time. But I felt myself feeling a little overwhelmed, um, sad, like on a roller coaster of emotion. And so I kicked this off in terms of something that I felt like I needed to do, and it's been really helpful. And so it started off as a 10-day challenge, and then it's turned into a 30-day challenge. And so I think we have a, a little bit more time to go. And um, basically, I'm not an expert, and these are just things that I'm daily actions I am taking. And I think I might do this again, not in a live challenge, but go through the challenge myself next month again, right through the whole rest of the year, just every day, small actions, bite-sized chunks, little things that we can do. And so uh, hopefully it's helpful. Um, showed you the pretzel move. I'm gonna give you a couple tips here. Okay, so it actually is what I call it. It's towered position, right, and higher. So I have it in the middle hole. And um, you know, the easiest way you know, to do this. Some, every, some people like to, I like to look down, align the clevis pin, you know, with the holes on the side, okay, here. And um, that's my preference. I like to put it in the second, the middle hole, the second hole. And the reason for that is that I'm gonna put a lot of force into XC here, okay? So coming up, coming down, right? And by having it in the second hole, it still gives me height, but in the top hole, it becomes a little bit more top heavy, right? And so my preference is the middle hole. Sometimes I do it in the top, but you have to be so deliberate with your moves in the top hole. You get to be deliberate in the whole thing, but more. Um, tennis shoes is a good one, or bare feet with this one. Socks, you might find yourself slipping. So that's just some things to hold, um, right? And okay, so to do this, I'm coming down and squatting, right? So you're gonna get a nice firm base with your feet, okay, before coming in. <laughs> that was like it, right? And then I have hardly any resistance, but some. Okay, if you actually don't have any resistance, it's gonna be harder. I'm gonna squat down, and then I'm gonna come up, take a step, okay, and then kick my foot out. And as I'm doing this, you know, it's not just like a karate move. It's like, it's coming from my core. Okay, so from right here, I'm kicking up through my core, engaging my core, coming down, squatting, okay? This is a hard move. Not everybody's gonna be able to do this one. Um, most people thought this is just a hard move. I'm gonna show it to you, because I do it. <laughs> but it does, um, I'm gonna make a short, short move today. Um, let's get, but before we do this, all right, we're gonna warm up, so. Really like warming up in this one, maybe do some jumping jacks, kind of get centered. Um, well, let's go here. But one of the things that I am asking people to do during the warm up is to kind of tune in to what muscles you're using, okay? Even the smallest things, grabbing onto the, the, to the pedals themselves, you'll feel your forearm engage. Okay, your wrist, your hands. Okay, I'm using my upper body. As I'm squatting down, okay, like really, this is why I like little things like 
doing squats while you brush your teeth is good, okay? Squat, okay? Feel that, engage what muscles you're, you're, you're using and, and, you know, feel and let yourself kind of feel that because then I think you become more in tune to it. Oh yeah, it's working, okay? I'm coming down and from here, I'm feeling my core, right? I'm kind of crunching here and feeling my core. Okay, so that warm-up process is just engaging which muscles you're feeling, right? You can really get a feel for what you're actually doing. Okay, and then let's do three deep breaths. I like to spin my arms in between. Alright. And for, you know, do you can come in and do some squats real quick. Alright, whatever works. Even here's a good, you know, side to side little dance move. In fact, this might be, if you can't do this move, Here's a good way to just onboard to it. Because even just doing that, I'm really engaging my balance muscles, okay, and memory, right? But come here. All right, so, all right, let's see what we got here. Before we do that, because this one's gonna be hard for me to control <laughs> the moves. You can see I'm already out of breath. In my Apple Watch, okay, I'm gonna come in and I'm going to pick High intensity interval training, okay? Pick that. Oh, this internet connection sometimes drives me crazy. That's one thing about doing live. You know, it doesn't always work well, but. All right, so our previous day's theme, we have a theme and a dare every day, right? Yesterday's theme was to treat yourself kindly, right? And the dare, was to make one small purchase just for you. For me, I bought myself flowers. That was my treat to myself, right? So we're asking you to do something every day. Today's theme is a big one. And, you know, I always do kind of research on little things that we can do to build resilience. And forgiveness is at the top of the list. And so I'm doing a pretzel today because it's complicated. You have to unfold and un like do all kinds of weird things with your body. And I feel like forgiveness kind of maps to that. Like there's so many little unraveling of feelings and, and things that you have to go through to, for, to forgive somebody. So that is the thing today. And uh, all right, let's get started. All right, we're at 66. So here's another thing. I picked, I'm gonna pause this real quick. I picked my intervals of 45 seconds fast and 45 seconds slow. So, but for a seven minute workout of doing this position, it's super intense, it's super hard, kind of like forgiveness, right? And um, so that's why we're gonna do it. We're gonna kind of unwind the body here and then talk about forgiveness. I tend to, I tend to be a forgiving person, uh, by and large. I, I don't really hold grudges. Um, I have my own things I have to work through every now and then. And some things, I'll, I'll tell you a couple of actions I've done to work on forgiveness. All right, on the slow, okay? So let's start the watch here. So you can either rest completely, you know, or maybe we take little steps here. Okay, it's up to you. But because we're starting slow first, I'm gonna kick it off here. All right. I should do the ski, the ski jumps one of these days. I'll do those another time this week. It's like going back and forth. Okay. So you can either again rest completely, kind of like forgiveness, forgive completely, right? You take little baby steps to do so. All right. Now we're gonna go hard. And down. Okay. 
I don't know if you guys can hear, I'm taking a deep breath in between each one. My legs are gonna be so sore after this. All right, I'm gonna rest for 45 seconds. Sit down. So let's see, her race 146. Woo, that's hard, it's a hard one. Um, I actually picked this one today, specifically for the theme of forgiveness, because, right, the dare that I'm gonna ask you guys to do, and myself as well today, explore the pros and cons of letting go of pain caused by someone else and let go of it if you can. I, I, I think it's unrealistic to just say, forgive people, right? There's a process. And the reason I came up with this, this tip, this dare today, is because I think if we can make a list of the pros and cons, we'll figure out that like all the reasons that we're actually holding on to something when we can't forgive someone, like make a list and write it down and you can like weigh the lid, like what are the cons of holding on to this, right? What is it doing to my health? What is it doing to my relationships? And then I just think I'm a huge list maker, okay? So, and I'll tell you, one time I did this dare to myself. So this isn't my first rodeo on the dares. I, I'm a list maker, I like to do things like this. So, but making a list, that's my heart rate. My heart rate's 156, catch my breath. But, uh, whew, maybe you end up making a list of the things that you have challenges with on forgiveness and even burn that list. I've done that, and um, it's extremely therapeutic. <laughs> so, right, all the things that you want to let go of, right, move forward in forgiveness, burn that list if you can. It's a lot to ask, but just go through the process of making that list, the pros and cons, okay? <sighs> all right, let's do this again. So hard. <laughs> Excuse me. Woo! 156 on my heart rate again. Oh. And I'm just gonna rest <laughs> during that. But right, so again, right, focus on forgiveness. All kinds of research and data around how going through the process of forgiveness helps build resilience. And uh, it's a big dare, right? Maybe it's in your mind you can explore the pros and cons. Maybe it's making a list, but right, exploring the pros and cons. And maybe it's something small, right? Letting go of pain caused by someone else. And then let go of it if you can. All right. I'm hungry, you guys. <laughs> I'm like, this right here has sparked my metabolism. Going, whoa, I need to eat. So, 
That's a pretty intense move there. Woo! Now that's how you start a Monday. <laughs> Focus on forgiveness and complicated things. Woo, okay. I have one more. I think the family's waking up. Maybe that's why the Wi-Fi is going crazy. <laughs> All right, let's do it. So actually here, I'm slow again. Let's just go back and forth. And I ease into this, okay? It's hard. Kind of like forgiveness, right? Some people, all right, let's go down. Some people can do it with big things. All right, so you'll see. I'm gonna stop my watch. Woo! All right, and look at that, we're at 70. So I didn't get, in my hurry, it's high. I uh, got a serious workout, but today, the thermal sensing tape didn't go higher, right? Barely, two degrees because that's a lot, I didn't produce a lot of friction. So don't be discouraged by the thermal tape. There is a guide and you'll find that some of the more like uh, body weight exercises like this, like the planks, you know, that you won't see the temperature go up. It's when you're hammering and spinning like with friction, that's what produces the heat that gets put into the axle, okay? And then extended into the crank arm. So, uh, Yes, save the workout, please. Track results. All right, I will absolutely do this again. Not right now because I'm tired and I'm hungry. Um, <laughs> I always, you know, I, I click it all the time, but I do feel this sense of accomplishment and kind of proud of myself every single time I do a workout. You know, so I tend to click that one a lot because like in the morning, I was like, oh, I don't want to do this. It's Monday, it's 6 a.m. Um, I think you had a very good night's sleep. And, um, you know, so once you start though, you just feel good. I'm sweating. Like right now, I am sweating in a way that I sweat when I run. And uh, I will try to get outside and shuck up things outside because we finally have no smoke, right? In the Pacific Northwest region. I think the West Coast is getting better as well. But it's, oh my God, it was so nice to go on the run this weekend and just soak up air. But uh, all right, so I'm gonna do this one more time, okay? Today's theme, forgiveness. And it's a big one. But we're focused on our own resilience and forgiveness is a big part of that. You know, it's not always easy. But read about forgiveness today. Read about, read about what holding on to things does to you and what it does to your health, what it does to your mind, what it does for your emotional resilience, your physical resilience, and then just kind of really explore the pros and cons of holding on to it and, um, and letting it go versus holding on to it. And maybe it's a small pain, you know, that you want to explore today. Maybe it's a big one. And, you know, I have some friends like where they don't talk to their parents, um, which I can't, comprehend that one, right? Of being so mad um, that I can't talk to my parents and there's some pretty harsh things that cause that. But during this COVID time, right? I just feel like, like it's a good time to explore forgiveness and it's a good time to explore letting it go if that's there for you, all right? So have a good day, have a good week. We'll finish this strong. I'll find some, uh, I'm trying to show a different move every day for the 30 days. Sometimes I, I repeat ones that we've done before, just like what I feel like I need. But uh, have a wonderful day. And, uh, whew, oh my goodness, you guys, I'm tired. All right, and we'll see you tomorrow. We'll have a new one. I'm not sure what it's going to be. Something fun. Today is heavy. Maybe tomorrow we'll do something fun. I like this idea. It's like interval turning, right? Let's do the same thing with resilience. Something fun and then something hard. <laughs> or maybe it's the reverse way around. All right, have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.